These are the same green converse on her feet that turned out to be the only clear evidence that could identify her after the shooting. How about that? Now, Uvalde called me on May 24th when I learned the news of this devastating tragedy. So the next morning, Camilla, myself, the kids, we loaded up the truck and we drove to Uvalde. I gotta tell you, even from the inside of our vehicle, you, you, could, you could feel the shock in the town. You, you could feel the pain, the denial, the disillusion, anger, blame, sadness, loss of lives, dreams halted. We met with the local funeral director and countless morticians who, who hadn't slept since the massacre the day before, because they'd been working 24 seven trying to handle so many bodies at once. So many little innocent bodies who had their entire lives still yet to live. We also met Anna and Danilo, the mom and the stepdad of nine-year-old Maite Rodriguez. And Maite wanted to be a marine biologist. She was already in contact with Corpus Christi University of A&M for her future college enrollment. Nine years old. Maite cared for the environment so strongly that when the city asked her mother if they could release some balloons into the sky in her memory, her mom said, oh no, Maite wouldn't want to litter. Maite wore green high top converse with a heart she had hand drawn on the right toe because they represented her love of nature. Camilla's got these shoes. Can you show these shoes, please? Wore these every day. Green Converse, with a heart on the right toe. These are the same Green Converse on her feet that turned out to be the only clear evidence that could identify her after the shooting. How about that? <clears throat> so where do we start? We start right now by voting to pass policies that can keep us from having as many Columbines, Sandy Hooks, Parklands, Las Vegas, Buffaloes, and Uvalde's from here on.